are you doing, Aspen? Helping me dig here. He loves watching the sand fall and then just gets to digging. Today I want to plant up these two. I have one that I put in a little flower arrangement under our patio and one hellebore already planted in. It's been doing well. It's even showing signs of new growth. Here, if you can tell. <laughs> so I wanted to give this one a try first to see if it accepted this area and the amount of sun it's getting. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> he's going crazy. And then now that I have seen that position does allow for good new growth, I think that the next two that I have would be a perfect time to put them in uh, because it's sort of the end of winter here now. Spring is here in March and he's getting sand all over it. Crazy, uh, but perfect hole for one of these two hellebores that I have remaining. So as a reminder, I got these two hellebores, or all four of them really, from Trader Joe's. It shows zone five to nine. It doesn't have an exact variety. It just says helleborus, not for human consumption. Um, so it does like part shade to full shade. And here is similar to where I put the hostas recently down that way that it gets full shade along the fence here. So I think these are going to be good here. They already are in their blooming stage as we can see. So gonna enjoy the last few days or maybe weeks of these blooms and start to see some progression of new growth spots. Let's see if we can find one here. You can see new growth leaf, nice. It's like a little bit more softer than these older ones are already pretty hard. And then these are starting to die off. And from videos that I've seen, I see that they like start to flop over. And then the new growth is what you really wanna look for towards the early winter um, we'll cut these off and then the blooms will start coming again for sort of like a next year process but for now these have already gone through all that and are fully blooming I don't see any more new little buds so when I got them they had bright sort of maroon flowers already open and I started and I did see some tinier buds like this one sort of similar to this tiny buds on the back ends so I didn't want to cut any but here you can see I have cut this one um, I think I cut, cut that one as well just because I wanted to use them in indoor vase arrangements so I didn't think that would hurt the plant because it's more just no more spending nutrients to get the bloom to stay open it's just gonna go all towards the leaves but that's the gist of today <laughs> he's making a perfect hole for one of these two um, this space pretty much can fit three to four, so I'm going to try to pack it in. It does say, let's see, 14 inches apart. Um, I'm gonna do probably half of that, just do like seven inches apart. Um, I don't mind if they're compact like that, so let's get started. So I'm going to take off this plastic. Then we're just gonna give it a good squish. The first hellebore that I placed that one the roots were like bound look at that super bound and also pretty like waterlogged I think I might have overwatered them while they were in this vase thing but let's see I am going to try and pick at it to try to get it a little bit loose ah this is a spider okay let's see if we can do it maybe he'll do it for me Okay, so I'm not sure where that spider went, but it looks like the inside of this is mostly all soil and the roots were sort of encased around the edge of the pot itself. So I tried to tease it a little bit. I got some of the roots just unwrapped and showing, there you go. So I put some Osmocote seeds in here. The soil was pretty loose just because of, you know, Aspen digging in it. So I just randomly threw in a little handful, gave it a good rake just so when the roots actually can touch it, they can absorb that nutrients. And let's try to get this soil leveled. Pretty much good already, to be honest, which is great. Um, so these are everywhere. I think these are like saplings. I don't know, they're really annoying, hard to get out. You have to really dig 
down just to even get to the bud, this little nut here, and then the huge taproot. They're everywhere here. So let's push some soil in and around the hellebore here. Now it rained about two, three days ago. And look at that, it's a fake plant. The two, three days ago and the soil is really nice and crumbly and has a lot of water already in it, which is good for a start of a new plant going in. Perfect, so there we have one. Uh, I did put Aspen inside because he goes crazy when I try to put things in the ground. He will not let me just work. So I'm going to dig the second hole and get the last hellebore just right here in the middle of both of these. So for this one, looks like a lot more roots even in the actual center of the plant. So this one maybe could be older or will do really well because it already has a lot of root growth. Let's just tease it a bit, try to unwrap these root bound roots pretty tough to be honest but uh, I have seen other people just take sort of a box knife and slice right through it so I need to get myself one of those but for right now I just have to do this I have been watering it often when it was in that pot so hopefully it didn't kill or sort of like waterlog it too bad but here we go starting to get more up just a bit so that it knows Okay, I'm in the ground. I could actually reach elsewhere to get nutrients. Let's see if that's enough. There we go. Our three of the four hellebores that I got are in the soil. I am gonna need to see once I get the roses for this arch in, if there's gonna be enough room to add the fourth hellebore just right here and the roses in that place, or if it's gonna be too, no, it should be good, it should be good. So the fourth hellebore will go here and we'll give it a season and hopefully the weather here in Florida is appropriate for these because they said they're four zone five to nine so i'm really holding out for that nine to be true but we got all four in i put some osmocote seeds and i will be using these to pre-spout some dahlias that i got so always reusing which is a good thing for the environment but i'm excited to just enjoy the last few of these blooms coming up on these hellebores and looking forward to the year coming to see if these will rebloom for us here Thank you all for visiting today on My Fresh Garden. I hope your day goes really well or your day went really well, depending on when you're watching this. We will see you in the next video.